Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this just came in the mail. This is a new brush that I ordered. Um, I'm not one for, usually I'm not one for fancy tools. I don't believe that the tool makes the artist. I think it's the other way around. But um, in this case, I wanted to experiment with the classic Winsor Newton Series 7 brush. If anyone is familiar, this is the industry standard as it pertains to inking for comic books and a lot of illustration as well. Uh, traditionally, this is what a lot of comic book artists and illustrators would use in their work. This is a number two brush. Um, oftentimes a number two is recommended, a number three, even up to a number four. I'm gonna open it right now for the first time. Um, I actually used to have a lot of these brushes. I used to use these for a while and then um, what winds up happening sometimes is I don't clean them properly, so they actually don't last as long as they probably should. And this isn't necessarily a cheap brush. Um, this will cost you probably, I think this cost me about $26. Um, so you wanna be sure to take care of it and um, have it last as long as possible. You also wanna make sure that the point is preserved too. Um, every time you finish using it, and you wash it, you want to maintain that point as much as possible. So this will be interesting. For the longest time, I've been using just generic brushes from the art store. So I actually have a drawing on my board right now that I'm going to ink with this. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I inked with one of these brushes, so I'm uh, pretty excited to try this out. Uh, this is a brand new one, fresh out of the box. So um, what I'm going to do is just activate it a little bit just get used to uh, making some strokes with it, and then I'll go right into the final drawing. Take a look, I'm gonna do a little bit of commentary while I ink this, and uh, hopefully this will be interesting. <laughs> See ya. So this is me just warming up, uh, essentially just dipping the brush into ink and making various lines in different directions, just getting my hand used to using the tool and used to moving it in different directions. I definitely recommend doing a warm up before you jump into inking a finished piece. It's a lot like stretching before you work out. So then I just jumped into this drawing and by the way, this was a Batman and Robin drawing that I did for fun, uh, sort of a classic style and I thought it would be a fun one to test this brush out on. One of the things that I noticed immediately when I was using this brush uh, especially after not using like a really high quality brush for a long time is how well it maintained its shape. As you can see when I'm inking the outlines here I'm using just the tip of the brush for the most part and it really helps that the brush maintained a sharp tip throughout. Um, I'm using it to uh, give me some more controlled line work and with a lesser brush, sometimes it's a little bit harder to maintain that tip. So that was actually really refreshing. Also, it really retained a lot of ink on it throughout. I'm sort of used to dipping the brush back into the ink pretty regularly. So this was nice that I actually uh, didn't have to do that so much because when you're inking, you're just kind of like in the zone and you don't want to always have to keep uh, re-dipping the brush back into the ink. So that was really cool. So at this point in the video, I wanted to actually just bring it back down to normal speed. I make a lot of these inking time-lapse videos and I speed up the time for the sake of time. Um, but I think it's important to show that I'm not always just like, you know, inking at warp speed. <laughs> I don't really know anyone who does. Uh, I think inking is a really nice process. One of the reasons is because it's it can kind of be like relaxing and calming because you're really focusing on one line at a time. Whereas with penciling, it's much more of a kinetic process. You know, you're finding those lines. Inking is a lot more concentrated and um, I guess more methodical in that way. So I just thought I would mention that and reiterate the fact that um, I'm, I definitely don't just like uh, speed through these. <laughs> I, I kind of wish I could ink this fast in real life. I'd probably get a lot more done, but unfortunately, uh, that's about the pace that I work at. So yeah, inking with this brush, especially after having uh, not inked with a brush like this in so long, it was really a real treat. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit for not using a brush like this uh, as often as I probably should have been. 
I still believe that the artist makes the tool and I, I really don't think that you should rely on fancy tools or expect them to make your art better. Uh, in fact, I think when you're learning how to ink, it's important to learn with whatever you have. As long as you can implement the basics and understand the fundamentals of balancing a drawing with black and white and how to hold a brush and, and use a brush, then whenever you get your hands on a better quality tool, you'll be that much better for it. But this was a lot of fun, especially inking hair um, with a brush like this. You could kind of just get lost in those patterns. And like I said, it really maintained its shape throughout, so that was really nice. So yeah, if you're interested in picking up a brush like this, I'll leave some info in the description down below on where you might be able to pick one up and just some more details about the brush. So as always, thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.